He will go up against some bike of Ukraine. Igor Bokchenkin, and this guy knows how to fight. He is Budokan Kung Fu uh, fought, that being uh, Fred Floyd, against kickboxing and uh, Denmark style heavyweight uh, Bokchenkin. And uh, Ron, these are two different, totally different styles as you see Fred Floyd. The Mangler, with his entourage of American fighters, just like the rest of the gun, enters the cage area. Well, the Mangler's from the same school as Red Herd, so you know this is going to be a tough fight. But he has a good man that is fighting. The tension is one tough kickboxing group. And you can never tell about these David and Goliath matches. It all comes down to technique, stamina, and endurance. A lot of difference in size in this bout. Fred Floyd very worked up as he gets ready to enter the diamond. He stands in at six foot four, 340 pounds. His opponent, Igor Voltigin, 5'9", 207 pounds. He's 22, Fred, 32 years old. And this ought to be a great fight. We got a ring announcer, Charlie Ancelon. This will be our final, quarter final bout of the evening. The winner of these bouts will be moving on into the semifinals and on to win the title of international fighting champion. First I have fighting to my left. He hails from the city of Kharkiv, Ukraine. He is a kickboxing champion weighing in at 207 pounds. Give a warm welcome to Igor Babchenkin. And his opponent fighting to my right, he fights for the Budokan Kung Fu system. He's the California State Amateur Super Heavyweight Kickboxing Champion, weighing in tonight at 340 pounds, 6 foot 4 inches tall, from Ontario, California, Fred the Mangler Floyd. All right, our fourth match here at the Referee, Once again, the for champion. the action inside the cage will be Andy Anderson. Before the much bigger fighter against the smaller guy, and that lasted all of 15 seconds. David and Goliath, you can never tell about that. It's all about technique, stamina, endurance. All right, Igor Bokchigin weighs in 207 pounds against the 340 pound Fred Floyd, who goes right after him. Wow! Fist nerf just flying all over a knee to the side. Both these fighters going all out. They are not going to grapple on this one. Both fighters going at it. Now a start of grappling as Fred Floyd had had enough to the face, enough to the body. He decided he needed to wrap this guy up and drop trying to get the hits to the face and to his body. Yes, he surely needs to because as I read here in my papers, this Russian guy he has uh, 57 fights, 3 losses and 37 knockouts, so he's a very good puncher also. But uh, Fred the Michael Floyd, he's a very heavy guy and again, as you saw in the last fight, the weight is a, a, a thing you can use very good in a open fight. Okay, the Mangler is holding Igor against the ropes there and it looks like he's just pressing that weight against him, trying to wear him down. Ah, oh, Fred Floyd takes him inside the cage, puts him on the deck, and this is where the grappling comes into play. Can you get your opponent into some sort of submission hold to get this bout over? Remember, keep in mind that the winner of this bout must face Paul Varlins also in the semifinals. That match lasted 5 minutes and 12 seconds. Whoever can get this match over much quicker would have much more stamina for that match coming up. Yep, I think so. Uh, Floyd is using his weight. He's perfectly in balance. He must uh, try to get out of his guard because uh, the guy have, uh, has a good guard. And because when he's out of the guard and he comes on top of the Russian, he can punch ten times easier than he's uh, than uh, at this moment. So the fight right now taking place in the exact middle of the diamond. It is Fred Floyd on top of Igor Bochichin from Kharkiv, Ukraine. Again, this guy is a world kickboxing champion, martial arts world champion in Moscow only last year. Fred Floyd, he is a super heavyweight. He has U.S. titles. 
He is a 70% fighter with his hands, his knees, his legs. So he might be a little more uncomfortable in the grappling style than perhaps Volchichin. When you have a 340-pound guy like the Magma on top of you, it impedes your breathing, it impedes your punching, it impedes your kicking. I mean, you're going to have a hard time getting up unless you know more about grappling. It doesn't look like he has much grappling to do. Fred Boyd, by the way, if he looks familiar, maybe you've seen him in some of the TV shows in and around America, had spot shots on the first pitch, Seinfeld Family Matters, the crowd's getting into it as Andy Anderson separates the fighters because, again, the hand gear has come off the Russian, Igor Bolchichin, and that right now seems to be the problem, having a hard time keeping the hand gear on. The Americans seem more like they want to have theirs taped up. The Russians, the Ukrainians decide they much rather have the Velcro that keeps them on. Although ring a referee, uh, Andy Anderson is now taped on uh, Igor Volchichin's right hand uh, bandage, also with the left hand as well, to keep the fighters uh, unable to do much with their hand gear. I mean, you really have to give Igor credit because to hold it all his own with a 350-pound man, I mean, it's really something because the man is quite talented and he's experienced in full contact, no rules events. Keep in mind, this bout has already gone over three minutes. Time here, arresting time for both fighters. Volchichin now appears ready. He's got his hand gear all taped up. And the Anderson throws the spare tape outside the cage. Floyd comes right back after him, as does Volchigen and Haas. It looks like both fighters now trying to size the other one up. Yes, I think they try to uh, punch and kick each other, of course they do, but then uh, they try to, to put each other on the ground and who's in best position, in top position, he's in the best position. Oh, yes, very good. What a hit there. That has got the sting, huh? Great right hook from Igor. I mean, he's not intimidated at all by the Mangla. Again, this is the one of those fights, much like we saw earlier in the International Fighting Championships tournament that's already taken place. A much smaller guy against a bigger guy, and yet it's the smaller guy with more power in the way he delivers his punches. Igor has some right hook. And now he's using his, stra his, his strategy. He's holding back, making the mangler chase him. He's taking advantage of his speed. He's working on his suspension system. He keeps kicking the Mangler's knees, which is going to slow the Mangler down. Over four and a half minutes already elapsed in this bout. The first half of the bout seemingly almost entirely on the ground with the Mangler trying to just put his entire weight on Volkogen. This time, both fighters trying to use their martial arts skills to get the advantage. Yep, that Igor guy is in uh, very good shape. You can see it. The floor is already breathing heavy. That Igor guy is also very quick and very fast, so I think this is going to be a very interesting fight on the ground. I think Floyd is the better one, and, uh, or the better one, the most in the fight, one. Oh, and standing up. That Igor guy is doing a very good job, a very good job. I think he's going to suplex him now. Now behind Floyd, Floyd breaks out of it and wanted no part oh of that God. particular move by the Ukrainian. Now, both fighters still up on their feet. Are you surprised that neither one has gone to grappling techniques after what happened the first half of this match, Ron? Right? I expect to see more grappling from the Mangler. I mean, he's a jiu-jitsu man, but this small guy, Igor, is very talented, good footwork, and great hand techniques. He keeps keeping the Mangler off balance by kicking the suspension system. And those knee kicks, those leg kicks, will slow you down. Ron Van Cleef, the five-time world kick pick kickboxing champion alongside Boss Bluton who is currently the king of uh, martial arts in Japan right now what a fight we have going on here the fourth fight all kinds of martial arts boxing going at it right now this blur and this crowd is in to this international no rules fighting championship and what about we're seeing as we go over the six minute mark this is the longest bout we've had so far in the quarterfinals yep fred is in there well he was just setting up his shots he's taking advantage of the slowness of his opponent and it looks like the magma's getting a little tired 
He's getting tired, but it looks like the lips around Voltichin are starting to get a little puffy, as if perhaps Floyd has landed a couple of either elbows or fists to their ear. Wildly swashed, knees to the groin. All kinds going on here in this no rules boxing fight. A cut underneath the eye. Andy Anderson, the referee, stopping the bout only for a second. Again, safety is the key issue here. Four doctors on hand, two ambulances. We don't want these fighters to leave the ring with any serious injuries. And this is important, Bob. As a fighter, you want to see this take place. Yes, yes, yes. Very important. You, you saw him giving the right hook, and the right hook cut up his eye. And when, uh, when he cannot fight anymore because of the cut, it's finished also. So that's the real fighting here. Again, the sound of the ching, ching, the sound of the gate closing on the cage, which means only the two fighters and the referee, Andy Anderson, are back in. Fred the Floyd, the mangler, from Ontario, California, against Igor Bochichin of Kharkiv, Ukraine. What about this is? We're over seven and a half minutes into the bout. This has got to be a big difference when either of these guys go on to the semifinal. Again, another knee to the point of the floor. And now, both fighters trying to get the advantage in some kind of grappling style, because I think Ron, the martial arts is taking its toll on both of these guys. Of course, they've been in a ring quite a bit of time right now. Igor is really tough. I mean, he's using strategy now. He's taking his time, and he's moving around, and he's waiting for Floyd to make the mistake. Yep, that's exactly what he's going to do. And Igor has just got good conditioning everything. Oh, no, no, this is a bad thing. Never show your opponent that you're tired, because you get wings, and it's very dangerous for Floyd. A couple of uh, minor little kicks to the shin of Floyd by Volkijin. And this, again, has gone past the eight and a half minute mark in this bout. As the crowd starts to get behind Volkijin, that is their man, Ukrainian, and you can't blame him. Here in Kiev, Ukraine, the capital city, as we are in this stop of the International Fighting Championship World Tour. And now again, both fighters going to the martial arts. Another knee to the groin. Another one, that one from the left, from Igor Voltigin against Fred Floyd, whose eye is very puffy from the hits he's taken from Voltigin. Ron, I don't think this match is going to last much longer. It isn't going to go much longer. It looks like Floyd is almost out of it. He's breathing hard, and he's not being aggressive. Igor has moved in with a great right hook and a knee to the groin. Yep, yep. And Igor guys is very good at this moment, and uh, Floyd shows he's very tired. The guy's getting wings, what I told you before, so it's going to be very dangerous for Floyd now, because Igor is waiting and waiting for a mistake from Floyd. And Floyd is getting tired more time. Floyd, by the way, started martial arts as he was a passive kid in high school. Tired of getting beat up, he was only six foot tall. He now stands six foot four. He was severely beaten up in a gang fight. Decided he no longer wanted to be the passive guy. Took up martial arts in 1986, started training, and here he is now in the International Fighting Championships. Right now, fighting for his life against Igor Volkovichin. And man, this has been quite a fight. Over 10 minutes now in this bout run. Now time will tell in a match like this. Igor keeps kicking at the knee with the shin kick, and he's slowing the mangler down. We can see the mangler is having a hard time throwing technique. His breathing system is almost shut down. Boss, I think very much that I think at this point, Fred Floyd would rather be back as the bodyguard or stuntman in such episodes of the French Fresh Pinch or Seinfeld rather than being inside this guy who has so much power for the way he strikes with his legs and his hands. Yes, and with a lot of technique also. And uh, his conditioning is very good. He gave him some knees in the groin. Uh, that also takes a lot of your air. And, uh, and air is what Floyd needs right at this moment. Again, Floyd, uh, a student of Budokan Kung Fu, Igor Voltigin, a student of kickboxing. He is uh, a man who seems very much at ease, also using his hands. And Ron, that was your style when you became the five-time world championship. Great right hook by Igor to the face of the Mangra. Both of these men are showing courage and stamina and endurance. And this is one of the best fights of the night. We are over 11 minutes in this bout, the fourth one of the quarterfinals, the very last one of the quarterfinals before we move 
into the semifinals before we crown the International Fighting Championship on this stop of the International Fighting Championship World Tour in Kiev, Ukraine. It looks very much like right now Igor Bocicin has the advantage in this bout, although who knows, the longer this goes along, how much longer Floyd can stay upright. Yes, that's, uh, that's what I'm wondering also. Uh, by the looks of it now, it's uh, not going to last any longer, so I hope the fight is always hitting me. Oh, oh my God! Very hard, right, uh, straight punch to the face with a kick. That Eagle guy is an incredible good mover. He moves and he fights explosive. He's a good fighter, good conditioning, everything. Boy, again, we're seeing much like an earlier quarterfinal match, the smaller guy trying to just level with all his power, the much bigger American. I mean, he goes on three, four, five, hooks to the face of the Mangler, and the Mangler's having a hard time staying up there. The crowd, again, almost entirely Ukrainian, although I have seen two or three, maybe as many as ten Americans Splattered among the crowd here of 16,000 inside the National Sports Palace in Kiev, Ukraine, the capital city. And this has just been one great bout. And we go almost to the 13 minute mark. Again, no time limit. So these guys will fight until one of them cannot no longer continue, either by knockout or submission. And right now, Igor going away with the right hooks. This time with the left, he is tapped out. Has said he's had enough. This match just over 13 minutes, and he has got to be one tired fighter. As he crumples over in the middle of the cage, Igor Bolchichin is the man that will advance to the semifinals after he puts down, due to tap out, Fred Floyd, a guy much bigger, a guy much stronger, seemingly, to be able to endure the kind of punishment that. Igor was dishing out. Fred Floyd still standing by a boss, looking very much like he put it all into it. But again, I think the time limit started to take its toll on Fred. Yes, it was for sure, 100%. I must say that Fred can incassate a lot of punches. He has a really hard head because I was surprised that it took this long because he got a few very hard punches on the head. All right, Ron Van Cleef has gone inside the cage to try to get a word with our champion, perhaps even try to get a word with Fred Floyd, although at this point, Floyd may be so tired he may not be able to talk, although I have seen the Ukrainian, he has already left the cage area. So I'm not so sure that Floyd will be able to say very much to Ron, although our ring announcer, Charlie Ansalong, will now have the official decision. The time of the month. 13 minutes, 40 seconds, Fred the Mangler Floyd taps out the winner and he advances to the semifinals, Igor Bochenkin! Igor Bochenkin will advance as we go to the replay run. This was hardly a fight when the time limit continued to drag on because Igor started to use his power against Floyd. Igor showed his superior training and his superior stamina and conditioning for this event. When you go 10, 12, 13 minutes in an event like this, it is the training, it is the mental attitude, it is the fortitude that one shows that keeps them going. All right, he misses with the left hook there, Boz, but then he comes right back with the right hook. Incredible. He hits hard. Uh, he hits with power. Uh, yes, he's got everything with him. He's got a uh, good conditioning. I think this is a, good, a very good fighter. It's, uh, well, it's got, going to be a runner-up for the finals also. So Floyd taps out as we get ready for our...